what your Genshin main says about you, French edition. Today, I am going to be going through the current Fontaine characters, and I'm gonna be judging you based on which one you decided was going to be your main. For a preface, this is gonna be subjective. I'm gonna claim it's objective, but it is in fact subjective. No leaks. So whatever characters that are on this list have all been shown in game up until December 9th, 2023. Get ready for a journey like no other. Persona 3 Reload is a captivating reimagining of the iconic game in the Persona series. Immerse yourself in the timeless tale, faithfully rebuilt with the latest graphics and updated quality of life features. Whether you're a console or PC gamer, Persona 3 Reload is ready to welcome you into the darker side of the modern world. It's available on Xbox, PlayStation, Windows, and Steam. So you have no excuse not to get it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mina, how can I play Persona 3 Reload if I haven't played the other games in the series? You don't need to. The story is self-contained. It's the perfect place to jump into the franchise and experience the perfect combination of a role-playing game with a visual novel. It's the best of both worlds. Persona 3 Reload is available for pre-order now and launches on February 2nd, 2024. Now back to the video. <laughs> if you come back to this video in 2024 and you're like, hey Mina, why is it my favorite character from Fontaine in this video that, that got released in May of 2024? I can't tell the future. I didn't know this character was going to exist. So that's my preface. <laughs> Ooh, I'm kind of nervous. I haven't done one of these in a while. We haven't been a PowerPoint gamer in a hot minute. Arlequino, right off the bat, right off the bat, you're a bottom. And you know why you're a bottom? Because you want Arlequino to top you so hard that there is no way in hell a top could ever like Arlequino, okay? You, you are a full, full bottom. I can fix her? No, you cannot. No, you can't. She doesn't need fixing. You need to accept her for how she is. You have been waiting since they dropped the Fatui video like a year or two ago. You saw that video of all the Harbingers and you were like, that's it, that's the one. And you have been waiting. You've been waiting a lifetime for them to drop Arlequino. And now that she has a character model in game, you, you see it, you see her coming and you're like, I need her, I need her. You also have mommy mm, father issues. You you have you have parental issues. You need to go to therapy for it because you have mommy daddy issues. You have everything issues. You probably love getting your nails done. Pop off queen. But yeah, you're a bottom. That's the main takeaway from our Lakino slide. You are a bottom. She needs to fix me, sweetie. That's not gonna happen. Those red X's in her eyes. Everything she sees is a red flag. Everything is red. She's the most glaring red flag that you will gladly, you will gladly experience. She's gonna break you and you're gonna say thank you. She's gonna make you worse. <laughs> Alrighty, the next character, the next character. Charlotte, you're a photography nerd. Probably really like photography. She's literally just wearing Pom Pom's outfit and you freaked out because you also probably like Honkai Star Rail. You are 100% a workaholic in denial. You're like, oh no, I'm fine. I, I'm not drowning in like four extra weeks of overtime work. I, I'm fine, we're fine, we're good. Yeah, yo, I'm fine. You're most definitely, you're not fine. All your friends are either work or school acquaintances. You don't really have a lot of close friends, but you're, you're very much, you get along with a lot of people without actually revealing much about yourself. You have a lot of surface level friends and not a lot of deep, like, uh, like closer friends. And that's something you should probably work on a little bit, you know? It's nice to be well-liked, but you, you should work on, on trying to uh, develop deeper bonds with the people around you, you know? But she is, she's very cute. I also like didn't realize until recently that she has a monocle. How, how is she keeping this on? I don't understand. It makes no sense. Monocles make no sense to me in general. Oh my God, I just got roasted. <laughs> Uh, yes, and the Pink Hair Enjoyers, which is a different brand of toxic from the anime community, just want to say. All right, and that's pretty much it on Charlotte. I feel like I didn't really have a lot to say about her just because I don't know a lot about her. And that's going to be a lot of these characters, although I think I know the Fontaine cast a lot better than the Sumeru cast. Chevrolet! Vroom, vroom, I'm in my mom's car! Guns. You are part of the FPS to gotcha pipeline. You started with FPS games. You saw... 
that Genshin Impact was adding a character with a gun. And you were like, hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. My time is here. My time has begun. And now you are playing a gotcha game. And welcome to gotcha hell. Because you are stuck here forever. But also, why does she also look like Pom Pom but with a gun? Actual personality wise, you're probably a Sunday. You don't really express your actual emotions too well. You know, get therapy. And you're probably low key addicted to fast food, which I can't blame you because French fries are delicious. American pom pom versus photography pom pom. Who would win? The one with the gun would win. <laughs> pom pom got tired of Stell's BS and then came to Genshin Impact to be a menace. Chiori! So this character literally just got shown for a second in the 4.3 trailer. And that's when you discovered she existed and you instantly fell in love at first sight. Fully fell in love. You're like, this is it. I found her. This is the character for me. And you saw literally two seconds of her in passing. You're also super into fashion trends, but, but you only ever wear hoodies. While you are aware of fashion trends and you are aware of how cute clothes can be, you don't partake in it. You simply wear a hoodie and like leggings and that's it and like i don't know like i feel like people who like chiori are probably a, like probably vtubers or vtuber fans i don't know why they give me the vibes also you're probably a weeb all right the next character chlorine you love hot woman what can i say you you are a person of taste you are a person of culture you're delusional but in an oddly refreshing way. The Lulu, as the kids are calling it nowadays. You have a childhood friend that you would ride or die for. And you are possibly in love with that childhood friend. And you're 150% a simp. You are a simp. But you own that symptom. You own being a simp with your whole heart. With your whole pussy. She also has a very high moral compass. God, you wish you could be this button. With all your might, you could be this button right here. All you want is a moment, a moment to understand what it feels like to be this button. Correct? Correct? I know I'm right. I know I'm absolutely correct in this assessment. God, I love Chlorind. I can't wait to know more about Chlorind as well, aside from her just being a simp and those who like her being a simp. Because let me tell you this, for every person that has claimed that they love Chlorind, I've never seen them once talk about her actual personality. It's always been, damn, she's hot. <laughs> Freckles! You are a small animal that is frightened by loud noises. You also resemble a hamster. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I feel like you give hamster vibes, all right? You also love hyperfixations. You hyperfixate on things all of the time. You find one thing that gives you a semblance of joy and you ride with it for like three to four months until another thing pops up. And then you ride that for three to four months and the train continues over and over and over again. He's a little acoustic, okay? But we love him anyway. Youngest child energy, but not bratty youngest child energy. The youngest child that's like a lot younger than their oldest siblings. And so they're usually off in their own world because, you know, no one else is really around to give attention. But then, okay, also the people that like Freckles, I feel as though you guys are probably the bullies and not the ones being bullied. There's something about the idea of, of Freckles crying makes you feel joy on the inside. And I feel like because of that, you would bully other people. Just a thought, maybe you should think about how you interact with other people and like what 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 draws you to this character and why? And are you are are you being nice to other people? <laughs> he is a baby. He is a baby. He's living his best life, okay? Fremine is great. We love him. He's very cute. I'm just saying the people who like him. Ch check yourselves. Check yourselves. Farina, you are a theater kid, all right? You're a theater kid through and through. They ask you how you are, but you have to say, say that, that you're, you're fine, fine and you're really not, not really fine. fine, all right? While you outwardly present a very boisterous, a very, a very um, outgoing person, no one actually knows who you are you've never actually shown people your true personality or your true opinions like you know like you, you as as time progresses you know stuff about your friends and then like you guys are like playing i don't know 20 questions and it comes out like all of a sudden you drop a lore bomb about your life and no one knew that you that like let's say like you had siblings because like i don't know no one ever asked so you never thought to tell anyone that you had siblings when you actually had siblings you know, no one knows who you are because you don't voluntarily give out information. And it really has to be like, oh, someone needs to ask a very pointed and very specific question to get information out of you. You're depressed, but in a conceal don't feel kind of way where it's like, 
What? I'm not depressed. I'm just sad. Like, 90% of the year. But, like, I'm not depressed because you you simply go focus on something else until the sadness goes away. And and I think, I think, I think Farina mains need a hug. I personally believe that it, you, 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 I think you just, I, I think you need a hug. <laughs> am I, am I cutting a little too deep for some people? Is it hurting? Yeah, I thought so. I feel like for Farina specifically, we couldn't be a little too lighthearted. This is what I feel like Farina mains are going through, you know? Lynette! My darling baby Lynette. Yeah. You're quiet, but when you do speak, when you do speak, it's always bangers. It's like you choose your words carefully, but when you do it, it it's always like top tier. You're super protective, but not in an overbearing way, all right? You're low-key popular, but you choose to have a small circle. Everyone wants to be your friend, and you're like, nah, I only have enough emotional capacity for like four people in my life. You stick with that, and you are protective of those four people that you decided to care about. But also, you're secretly weird. I bet you have at least 14 tabs of fanfiction open on your phone right now. You're in a, you're in a social setting. You're talking to people. You're looking at your phone, all right? You're looking at your phone. And someone's like, oh, what are you doing? And then you're going to look up and be like, nothing. But secretly, you're reading smut in a, in a social setting. When other people are around, you're just, you're just full out reading smut. No shame in your body either, okay? But yeah. <laughs> God, I love Lynette. <laughs> Lynette's brother! <laughs> uh, you are the self-proclaimed de facto leader of your friend group. You have decided that you are the one that will be taking charge. You are the leader. You are also an overachiever. You know what is required of you and you will always go beyond that. You love to, to show people your worth. You're constantly trying to prove that you're worth having around because your self-esteem is shit and you have very low self-esteem. You overwork yourself to try and combat that to prove that people want to be around you. So you're constantly trying to prove yourself to the world, even though there are people around you who do care for you, but you are just a little bit in your head about it. Okay, I think you need therapy. And that's okay, most people on this list need therapy. Also, you have oldest sibling energy and you shoulder way more burden than is required of you. Damn, I feel bad. I feel like I went a lot harder on some of the characters than others, but this feels right for, for, for Lynette's brother, for Linny, all right? This, this feels correct for him. He is so much more insecure about, about his, everything about him. Calling him Lynette's brother wouldn't help with the insecurity. Well, that's why he's not real. All right, <clears throat> Navia, my beloved angel sweet baby girl who's done nothing wrong in her entire life. No bias whatsoever. <laughs> well, your taste in everything is flawless. Your skin, so clear. Your hair is always perfect. You know how to command without being bossy. You are amazing. You're also low-key in love with your childhood friend. And you're gay. Honestly, Navia mains are perfect. They are the epitome of the perfect person and truly the epitome of great taste, of knowing a good aesthetic when they see one. Being a great person who knows how to communicate, knows how to respect boundaries. I don't even have a childhood friend. Honestly, it's because she's in love with Chlorine. I assume whoever mains her probably has a childhood friend that they want to kiss. You guys, she is perfect. She is, she is perfect. You are perfect for liking her. I love Navia. I love Navia so much. No bias, guys. No bias. This doesn't sound like Mina. Fake Navia main. I am the exception to this. <laughs> Nervelette. You're dense. You're like really dense. People like having you around though. You don't know why. But you're very good at your job or whatever your job is. You're very good at it. And you're an extremely loyal individual. But you don't always understand a joke. And you won't laugh until you do understand that said joke causing the person who said the joke to explain the joke, thus making it not funny anymore. So sometimes you kill the mood just a little bit by, by keep pushing. Like it's, it's okay to laugh politely at things, all right? Like, just because you don't fully understand it doesn't mean you have to make them explain the joke, all right? Just move on. It's not that serious. Just move on. And you're really dense. Just want to point that out again. You're dense. Someone could be flirting with you and you just wouldn't know. But overall, you're very you're you're a good person. You have a very high moral compass as well, and you're loyal, and you're a good friend. Just maybe work on your social cues a little bit better, all right? Your your friends are accepting of you, but you can always get better. Sijuin, I didn't have a lot for her because I, I mean, it's just a child. 
You're really bubbly. You're also the mom friend. You're the mom friend of the group. You will laugh politely, even if the joke is lame, unlike a certain someone. And you carry a first aid kit, uh, just in case. Also, I still don't understand why Seguin has a human model when she is supposed to be a full mel melusine. I don't understand why she has a human model because what, what, like, is she half? Are they not gonna explain this? Are, am I just supposed to believe that she's supposed to be full melusine when she looks like a human? If she is a half, who did it? Who stuck it in? Rizzly, Rizzly, Rizzly. You are a flirt. You unintentionally or intentionally flirt with people all the time. Mostly unintentionally, but people always mistake it as you flirting. You probably got into a lot of fights as a kid, but as you've gotten older, you have mellowed out significantly. You're way too cool for school. And you always have a drink on hand, either like boba, iced coffee, uh, energy drinks, etc. You You always have a drink. Also, your ass is your best quality and you will flaunt it. You will show your ass off because you worked hard for that. You worked hard for your butt to look good and you're, you're going to make sure everybody sees it. All right. And so thus, there are spoilers for the 4.2 Archon quest. So I just wanted to preface it out there so no one could get mad at me for spoilers. On this list, gamers, the very last main, honorable mentions, Melusin Silver. You can't main them, but they deserve it. They deserve. They deserve a slide just to honor them. Rest in peace, kings. Rest in peace. Yeah, gamers, all the, we need the salutes for them. Yeah, the 07s, 07s, they deserve the salute. Oh, my baby, she looks so cute crying. I mean, what? The end. Wow. If you like this video, make sure to leave a comment down below if I was right, if I was wrong. Uh, what other characters or franchises you want to see a video like this made of. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.